Oh, look who showed up. Greg. What a struggle. Greg was struggling. Good morning, my beautiful friends. Gosh, it's a lovely morning. It's about 51 degrees in the van. I stepped outside around 8. A little bit chilly. But this morning, it is Mark, Brock, Greg, Kelly, and me here. We had a super fun evening, just all of us uh, catching up. Um, but we were shut down pretty early, like 9.30. Just because we all had, you know, day... Well, I think Mark's the only one who didn't have a travel day. But he actually just got to Arizona from California the other day. Greg and Kelly had a drive, Brock had work and a drive, I had a lot to do and a drive, so it was fun. We had on lights and music and, you know, had a few beers, but that was that was it and then shut it down. So a lot of fun. Uh, today will be awesome, about 80 degrees and sunny. And we have quite a few new subscribers recently, so welcome if you're new to my channel. Oh, I was going to mention something. Oh, yeah, I'm not in Quartzsite yet. Uh, I th a lot of people think I'm out in Quartzsite because I started desert camping again this week, but I'm not there. I haven't made it there yet. I'm not sure when I'm going to make it there yet. Uh, in Arizona, there's a lot of desert camping that is outside of Quartzsite, so I am currently in southern Arizona. I When I was... Uh, out in the desert the other day where I showed all of that trash that is near the Phoenix area um, Unfortunately, it is a very popular place for squatters to go and that's why all the trash is left because um, People go out there and they live there permanently <laughs> basically and they don't get kicked out by law enforcement So that's how all the trash happens. It's very sad um, but, yeah, so, but yeah, I'm not in Quartzsite, not sure when I will be, I have friends out there already, I just haven't made my way, because I have lots of other stuff going on, and typically I spend a ton of time in Quartzsite, and I probably won't be spending as much time there this season as usual, just because over the years I've, you know, I've made other friends and whatnot, and have gotten more comfortable with kind of um, meeting up with other people and going to events and doing those types of adventures throughout the winter. So although I will, of course, spend a substantial amount of time there over the next four months, um, I'm just not there yet. So I do look forward to it, but I am very much looking forward to the rest of this weekend with the friends that I have here now. Well, that's a fun sight to see this morning. Y'all, Winston has some doggy friends here. I'm so happy. It's, uh, it's not very often, honestly, that we camp with people who have small dogs like Winston's size. So it's really nice because Greg and Kelly have two little ones about like the exact same size as Winston. And he was so happy this morning. And it just makes me feel so good that he's like running around and his tail's up and it's wagging and he's feeling good. And oh, I'm just like, I'm so grateful. There, That's their box truck back there. Um, okay, so it's about 1045 this morning and I'm doing my van things. Brock's editing. I was chatting with Kelly a little bit. I haven't seen Mark or Greg yet this morning, but uh, because they're lazy. Yeah, they're lazy. So the plan is there is no plan. We are just going to hang out at camp today. I'm, I was brushing Winston and I wanted to show you guys, um, this brush it's kind of it's kind of big honestly this would probably work well for a big dog I mean it's fine it's fine for Winston um, but anyways he really likes being brushed and uh, brushing is important because it obviously takes the the dead hair um, out of a dog's fur 
coat and um, detangles them and all of that sort of stuff. But it also uh, essentially massages their hair follicles, which uh, secretes a natural oil that keeps their coat healthy. Okay. Anyways, so this, I like this brush because it goes flat in there. So after you're done brushing your dog, you just take it down and then you clean off all the hair. How easy is that? How easy is that? $10 on Amazon. And it doesn't like this. It, these kind can kind of be ouchies, but this one's not ouchies. This one doesn't hurt. Um, but I'm very like soft with Winston on it because um, especially he has that scarring, that very sensitive skin. Um, and again, it's <laughs> this is kind of large for him, but it works well. And I just wanted to show that to you guys because these types of grooming brushes are very clever and it's, you know, just my color, which is nice and it's easy to store. So I will put a link in the description and I will also pin one in the comments for you guys. I'm really bummed out. I went to turn on my heating blanket last night and it's no longer working. The controls started freaking out. This thing is like three months old. And it's funny because someone even said to me the other day, oh, Amanda, what heating blanket do you use? And I'm like, not a good one. I don't really like it. And so all the lights started flickering and whatnot. And I guess that's karma for telling people that I don't like this blanket. So it was like, oh, you don't like me? I'm just going to stop working. So that's nice. I need a different 12 volt heating blanket now. So that sucks. I mean, to be honest with you, that thing was like really cheap. So you get what you pay for. But I'm really happy with my solar today. I'm still using my new All Powers power station. Yeah, I'm getting 152 watts of solar. So that's, that's pretty good. Happy with that. Let's see what kid's doing. Winston's already resting. Because, hi, you've had a busy morning with your friends, huh? Have you been busy with your friends? I love that. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? What? What is this? What are those? That's uh, my vitamin supplements. They promote growth. Were they on sale at the grocery store? They might have been. 50% off Halloween Oh, candy. yo, show everybody what I got you for your birthday. The sign. The thing. So I got Brock some sliced olives for yeah, his birthday. Because yeah. I was like, oh, you're 38. You need olives. You're recording my mess. My man's very messy right now. It's always messy. <gasps> Look at how fun that is, you guys. I got him this 3D printed sign. Show, like, the side of it so they can see, like, the thickness. Like, yeah. Isn't that cool? That's so fun. Do you want me to grab you a sticky gel pad for that, like I was talking about? That's you, Ozzy Van Man. I hate this freaking thing. Who am I? Who am I? A, a oh, nerd. What do you think about mom's uh, squid kite? Are you unfazed and unimpressed? Imagine like trying to talk shit about me on the internet and I'm just like out here existing, flying my squid kite. <laughs> While all of my friends are being antisocial. Ba -ba -ba. Everyone's like, oh, it's windy. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go fly a kite. Cause that's how I live my life. You throw something at me, I'm gonna make it make it positive. So I'm kind of bummed out. Like today is such a gorgeous day. It's 80 degrees and we don't have any shade, but and the wind's only like 12 miles per hour, so it's actually making it really freaking nice. Um, well, I am sit sitting in the shade of my van right now, but. But like we're all here together and nobody wants to hang out <laughs> it's like so weird to me like everybody's like in their vans and I don't really it's funny because I do van life because I want to be outside 
even though I do this full time, like I want to be outside. I'm outside all the time. Winston doesn't want to be in the van. I don't want to be in the van as much as I love my van and I'm obsessed with my van. I don't want to be in it all day. Like I want to be outside <laughs> and it's such a beautiful day. And, and this is the only full day that we have together and everyone's in their vans. I just think it's kind of weird, but I love them and I'm going to give them a lot of shit for it. So, I mean, we're all going to party tonight. I get it. But gosh, I mean, this is just magnificent. And tomorrow it's supposed to rain all day. So we can save those days for being in our van. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. So I just want to, like, be outside and enjoy everybody's company. But that's all right. Kiddo and I are enjoying it. And I got to fly my kite. So that's super fun. Okay, so we are all outside chilling, the entire group, and Steve just showed up, and this is what my son is doing. Just chilling, huh, Bubba's? Oh y'all, it is very wet outside today. Winston and I were up, what time did we get up? I think we were up around like nine and the rain started early this morning, I think six or seven. I briefly woke up and heard it and it's muddy. All of us have obviously been in our vans today. It's 1130 right now and I mean, Winston's, Winston's paws got muddy when we went out this morning, but that's what I have towels and extra things for. And I love my, uh, my get out gear down blanket because even if like it gets mud on it, it's so it just dries and then it, I can shake it out. But anyways, so the plan for me is to go to my mom's later. She texted me, oh my god, I love my mom, so I, I'm i spending tonight at her house, which is just an hour and 15 minute drive from where we're at, but she texted me this morning, she's like, I made a big pot of chili, and I was like, oh my god, yes, like, it's rainy, it's cold, like, it's a football Sunday, perfect day for chili, she's like, yeah, I figured after 
partying last night, you might need good food. And I was like, yes, mom. <laughs> I'm the best mom in the world, seriously. So, ooh, now the rain's really coming down. Um, but I'm not even mad about it because it actually feels like fall in Arizona, finally. So, I've been trying to kind of like tidy up in the van and do some things, but there's really not much else for me to do. Unfortunately, my chair is outside. It is soaked. My trash is outside, but it's in the collapsible bin. And then I have like my water and my sink, so I'll need to grab that stuff. But what I'm going to do when we're ready to leave later, because I, I don't plan on leaving until like, I don't know, three o'clock or so. Hopefully none of us get stuck trying to leave the area, but I'm just going to put towels down and everything that's outside, I'm just going to throw it in here. Well, my chair I'll put in my rooftop box, but, um, and just deal with the muddy, wet mess later. I do have my fireplace vibes going today. I just realized too, I need to, I have my Jack Skellington felt garland up there. I'm going to have to change it out soon to my penguins. Yay. Well, I am packing up to head out within the next hour. The rain finally stopped. The sun's peeking out just a little bit. I got most of my stuff put away. Um, I will have to clean off my chair and do that sort of thing next time I take it out and I think I I spoke with Yellow Wolf this morning and she's out in Quartzsite. I knew she was there but I think I might actually go out there on Tuesday to visit her. I won't camp with them because they are at an LTVA and that's just not my, my jam. I don't like to stay at the LTVAs. I prefer staying on the BLM land and because I, I just really like my space, I don't like to camp around people unless they're my friends. So, um, so I'll just pop in and visit her. I'm going to bring her a couple things. I know Taco needs some new high quality food. So I will go to PetSmart and get some of that for him and bring that to her. Like I said, I think probably Tuesday. So that will be my first time out in Quartzsite this season about 10 days later than I normally get out there since I'm typically in Quartzsite at the end of October. But I haven't solidified the plan yet, but I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. So I will most likely make the decision tomorrow and finalize with her. I will, um, yeah, just take it, take it one thing at a time. So first we got to get home, uh, to my mom's house I just checked the traffic and because I wasn't sure, like you just never know on Sunday how traffic is going to be heading back into the valley, whether you're in northern or southern Arizona, but it looks good. So I think uh, it'll be like a, it'll take us an hour and 20 minutes to get there. So I think, yeah, we'll probably leave within the next hour. <laughs> 